Good morning, guys. What's up? Hayden Aquilon here. Um, today is another beautiful day over here in Austin. Finally cooled down. We're in the 70s right now, and that's due to... We got this uh, tropical storm that's moving it now, so it's awesome. I love it. It's been such a roller coaster ride. It was uh, 90... It's like 92 yesterday, now it's 70s, and then it's going back up to the 90s again this week, and then it's going back down to the 70s again. So I think this is the the last part of the summertime, so I'm very excited about that as my warehouse has no AC and the actual warehouse part of it. Luckily, the office does. Um, but I want to cover today uh, buybacks. Um, I have not been doing any buybacks because of the speed at which you know you're able to go through your greens or duds and then you know determine which ones you can use for a buyback sorting those further arranging for pick a ball stuff so anyways i back in the day i tried to do uh sellbackyourbook.com that's what everyone recommends um bill martlink over there the vp of sales has been on me uh pretty hard to start that shout out to bill um I I guess I'm going to take the leap now. Um, I've been doing it so far. I've gone through two full Gaylords. And um, let me show you what I have so far. Um, I'm not super impressed. Uh, but I, I'm going to keep doing it to get some data for everyone. So <clears throat> those are all buyback books. Um, that's about a third of a Gaylord. And that's two full Gaylords to get a third so, so far, it's going to probably take six Gaylords to get a full Gaylord for a buyback site, uh, sellbackyourbooks.com. Um, so, what I've been told is it's typically $250 that you get uh, as a payout from those guys um, for a full Gaylord. However, I'm seeing the average price per book at about... 16 cents they're going to give me so if you take a gaylord that's full it's about a thousand bucks so a thousand times 16 cents is about 160 dollars so i think people have exaggerated that a little bit um and you know i'm crunching numbers in my head i suppose if you can get a full gaylord out of six um, for buyback, you know, that's enough to buy you two more Gaylords, essentially. So, you know, I, I suppose if you're doing it by yourself, it makes sense. Um, you're, you're using your time. And so far, you know, man, I'd love it if someone comments on this, tells me how this process is working for them, what, what it's all looking like in terms of, you know, how they're scanning it where they're positioning their Gaylords. I think this stuff's more important than you realize. Um, here's my table that I've been using, by the way. I don't have other stuff on it, but, um, you know, I got the scanner here. And this is hard because I'm look, trying to look at my camera as I'm showing this. I got the scanner there. So I'm not using an emulator yet, guys. I just have the uh, scanner, you know, show the buyback screen on my computer. And it's flashing green or red. And I'm basically, so what we're doing is we're reaching in. I'm scanning it with my yo-yo handheld right when I reach in. By the time I get up, I see if it's green or red, and then I put it through the scanner. Um, and, you know, people are like, well, you're scanning it twice. And it's like, well, that's not really adding any extra time, guys, honestly. I mean, if you really think about it, it's like a millisecond. I'm, and like I said, as I'm reaching in, I'm scanning it. So it's not like it's all this extra work, but um, let me know how you guys are doing it. I suppose you're just scanning it once and the emulator is showing your phone screen and your buyback site all in one time. But, uh, you know, even so, I feel like you probably would have to scan that twice with your personal scanning device and your... Um, you know your stationary which i just showed you unless you're you know you're have you have a bluetooth connect uh plugged into your uh computer and you're able to do it all in one scan so yeah so far i'm not sold but you know if if your cat here's what here's where you should do it 
if you're crunched for cash, your cash flow is poor, I guess do it for now. If you're paying someone to do it, it's probably not worth your time. Um, but I could be wrong and I want to hear it. Uh, if you guys have a better experience or you have some great process, how you're doing it super fast, I want to know. And, uh, you know, let's talk about it because I want to make sure that we're all optimizing our businesses uh, to the best possible. Um, and, you know, right now I'm getting rid of all these for free. So if I can make some little return on it without adding a bunch more time and labor costs to myself, I'll 